let's look at set two. Ten teams PBKS, GT, KKR, DC, CSK, and few more participated in the Indian Cricket League 2023. They wore jerseys of different colors: grey, brown, orange, black, white, purple, blue, green, yellow, and red, but not necessarily in the same order. After the group stage, the teams were ranked from one to ten based on their performance. No team teams were ranked equal, so every team had a different rank. Some additional information is also available about the ranks and the jersey colors of the team. The number of teams ranked below RR was equal to the rank above MI. Only one team was ranked between DC and LSG, and none of them were ranked last. The team with the bronze jersey was ranked eighth, which was not GT, and so on and so forth. So going through all these statements is futile right now. We right now know that this is not a question from games and tournament, but rather a question based on ranking. So there are ten uh, playing teams, and uh, they have got their names, they have got their ranks, and then we have got uh, the color of the jerseys that they wear. So out of the three attributes that we have, the rank, the team name, and the color of jersey they wear, the rank, which is numerical, has to be the primary. Um, constraint or this is the primary column. That's the thing that we should fill out first. Okay, so let's look at the question. We know how we are going to represent the information. Let's look at the types of questions we have. So, the five questions related to the set are which of the following teams wore blue jerseys? What is the sum of the ranks of the three teams with the common initial letter in the jersey color? Which color jersey did LSG wear? And so on and so forth. So, if you look at the options, uh, and uh, three questions out of five, they have options and they are definite ones, while two of them are theta, which means that is also going to be definite, which tells us that whatever table we are going to draw, we will be able to completely figure out the rank, the team name, and the jersey that they wear. Anything that is uh, uh, dicey, that anything that we can't figure it out, most probably is not going to affect the answers. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, look at the important statements and the information given and let's draw a table with the first column as rank, let's fill it as 1 to 10, the second column as let's say team's name and the third column as the jersey color. So here we have the table. Now uh, we have the 10 teams, we have these uh, 10 different colors and no team, two teams were ranked equal, we are already aware of that. Now the number of teams ranked below RR was equal to the rank above MI. So wherever RR is going to be, suppose suppose RR is over here. So the number of teams ranked below RR is the number of teams we need to have above MI. So this is how it should look like between RR and MI. Okay, this is one of the many possibilities we can have. Okay, only one team was ranked between DC and LSG. None of them were ranked last. So we are going to have a scenario where we have DC, there is one team and LSG or we can have LSG, one team and DC and none of them are going to be at the end. So 10th rank, nobody, neither of these two hold. Okay, so nothing we get concrete from the first statement, we can't fill anything. Second statement says the team with the brown jersey was ranked 8. So let's go to 8 and let's put in the color which is brown which was not GT. So we know that this particular uh, team is not GT. The team with the orange jersey was not ranked in the top four. So the top four, we are not going to put orange color. So that's something we will remember. So second statement we are done with. Third one says SRH, PBKS, CSK and RCB were the top four teams. So among the top four teams, same as the case with orange, we have uh, SRH, we have PBKS, we have uh, CSK and we have RCV. So these four teams are going to be placed in the top four ranks. The team that wore the purple jersey was not ranked as a multiple of three. So we can't have purple here, we can't have purple at sixth rank and we can't have purple at ninth rank. So we are done with third statement also. Fourth statement says, half the participating teams were ranked between KKR and PBKS and uh, one of these two teams had grid jerseys. Now, there are 10 teams. Half of the participating teams means five teams were ranked between KKR and PBKS. And remember, PBKS is going to be among the top four and uh, KKR is not there. So this tells us for sure that we are going to have PBKS wherever it is, one to four rank. And then we are going to have five teams between them. And then we are going to have KKR. And one of them is going to wear 
a gray jersey. So it's going to be gray in color for either PBKS or KKR. Right? So fourth statement is done. Fifth says CSK wore black jerseys and the number of teams ranked above it was half of those ranked below. Well, if I say that uh, CSK is at a certain rank, then the number of teams above it, if it is X, then the number of teams below it is going to be 2X, right? The number of teams ranked above it is half of those ranked below it. So out of 10 teams, if CSK is one of the teams, then we are left with nine teams and those nine teams have to be divided in the ratio one is to two, or we can also say X plus two X is nine, which will give us the value of X as three. So there are three teams above CSK, there are six teams below CSK, that means the rank of CSK is going to be four. So we know that CSK is fourth. And we know that they wear black jersey, so we are going to fill in the color as black. We are done with the fifth statement. Now the sixth statement says, the teams with white, green and yellow jerseys were ranked as consecutive increasing numbers in the same order. So we are going to have under the color column as white and then green and then yellow. These three colors have to be placed consecutive. So it could be the first three, one, two, three, it could be five, six, seven. These are the only two places we are left with. Let's not fill it. Okay, so we are done with six statement. Next, none of DC, RCB and MI wore green, blue or orange jerseys and GT wore red jersey. So we don't know where DC exactly is we know rcb is going to be in the top three now uh, we don't know where mi is so we can't put anything so we will leave seventh statement as such now we are still not done with first and seven so let's go back to the first now again it says the number of teams ranked below rr was equal to that ranked above mi now rr or mi they both cannot be in first second or third rank because they are going to be taken by srh pbks or rcb we know that now uh, rr or mi could be at rank 5 6 7 and so on right so let's start uh, suppose if i choose that rr is at rank 5 so the number of teams ranked below rr which is 1 2 3 4 5 there are five teams below rr then we need to have five teams above MI. So one, two, three, four, five. So MI is going to take the sixth position. Okay, so RR we chose as five. So MI turns out to be six. Next, RR can also be at sixth. If RR is at sixth, so there are four teams beneath it. So we need four teams above MI. So the four teams being one, two, three, four, that means MI will take fifth rank. Okay, now let's uh, shift RR further. Suppose RR takes the seventh position. So there are three teams beneath RR. So we need three teams beneath above MI. So MI is going to take the fourth position, which it can't. CSK is already placed. This also tells us that MI can't go third, which means RR cannot go below seven. So now we are stuck. We have only two possibilities for RR and MI. So we will leave it as such. Next, if we remember this, DC or LSG, they are going to be placed such that there is only one team between them. Now DC or LSG, neither of them can take one, two, three. They can't take fourth, fifth and sixth are also going to be occupied for sure. So they can only take seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. But since none of them can be ranked last, that means, we can either have DC here or LSG here with one team between them or we can have LSG here or and DC here because we don't know which one is above the other. Now, uh, we are done with first statement also. Now, if you look here closely, um, of all the team names, SRH, PBKS and RCB will take the top three, CSK is fourth, RR or MI will take fifth and sixth. DC and LSG will take 7th and 9th in some order. GT, we are left with the team GT and we are left with the team DC. So these are the two teams whose, sorry, uh, KKR. So these are the two teams, GT and KKR, whose names we have not yet filled. And there are only two blank spaces. Now at 8th, we can't have GT. So only KKR can come here. And of course, GT will go at the end. And uh, 
Uh, if you go to seventh statement, it says GT wore red jersey. So this is red for show. So we are done with all of this. Now let's go back to uh, the PBKS and KKR, this particular condition, right? Uh, this was the condition in fourth one. So if KKR is fixed now at eighth, we need to have five teams between KKR and PBKS. So PBKS takes the second position, right? Okay. Next. What we know is uh, um, white, green and yellow, the next part, white, green and yellow, these three colors should be placed one after the another, right? And we know that PBKS or KKR, one of them is going to be gray in color. Since KKR is already brown, so PBKS has to be gray. And white, green and yellow, if they are supposed to be consecutive cells in the same order, the only place they can go is 5th, 6th and 7th. These are the only three empty cells we have. And neither of these three colors are placed anywhere. So it has to be white, green and yellow in this order. Now, if we look at the 7th statement, it says DC or LSG, right? We have at 9th rank DC or LSG. So seventh point says DC cannot wear green, blue or orange. So we can't have green here. Green is already taken. We can't have blue here. Blue is yet to be taken. We can't have uh, orange here. So the thing is, if one to four is not going to take orange and orange so far has not been filled. So this has to be orange. There is no other way that tells us that ninth can't be DC because if this is going to be DC, DC, they can't wear orange jerseys. So this brings us to ninth rank is taken by LSG and seventh by DC. Okay. Now, if this is done, now we know that, uh, uh, hold on, it used to say the team of the orange was not ranked in the top four, right? So it did not have orange. Yeah, so let's go back. The two colors that we are left with are uh, uh, purple and uh, so one is purple and I believe one is uh, brown is taken, gray is taken, orange is taken, black is taken, white is taken, purple is left and blue, right? So in third, if you can't have purple, so this has to be blue. So this is going to be purple. Now, uh, RCB can't have blue. So the third rank can't be taken by RCB. So RCB goes to the first rank. And of course, SRH will take the third rank. That's the last uh, of the two teams left in the top four. Okay. What about Mumbai Indians and RR? Now, Mumbai, Mumbai Indians, MI, cannot wear green, blue or orange. So since sixth rank color is fixed which is green so it can't be mumbai indians so it has to be rajasthan royals rr and uh, so fifth come turns out to be mumbai indians which is white so the table is complete we know exactly at which rank which team we have and what color jersey they wear now let's move over to the questions question number six which of the following teams wore blue jersey so blue jersey is being worn by srh Option C. Question number seven. What is the sum of the ranks of the three teams with a common initial letter in their jersey color? So if you go to the jersey color, so blue, black and brown, these are the only three colors whose initials are same. So blue is going to be ranked three, black is ranked fourth and brown is ranked eight. So the sum of uh, these three ranks is going to be seven plus eight, which is 15. It's a theta question. So we are supposed to type in one five. Question number eight, which color jersey did LSG wear? So LSG, they wore orange color jersey. So option D is the answer. Question number nine, the number of teams ranked above DC. 
So DC is at seventh rank. So the number of teams above DC is six and the number of teams ranked below it is three. So that exceed or that difference is going to be three. Since it's a theta question, we are supposed to type in three. Question number 10. What is the number of teams ranked between the teams that wore purple? So purple is being worn by rank one and uh, orange jersey so orange is being worn by the team which is at rank 9 so the number of teams ranked between them is going to be 2 to 8 which are 7 teams so the answer is going to be c 